Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're out here this morning for a couple of different reasons. First of all, we're going to harvest that little spot of turnips right there. And we'll be getting this bed cleaned out. This is a 4x4 four four raised bed. It's not complete, but due to the lack of space I have in, in the other portions of my yard right now, I'm uh, using these as temporary uh, growing spots. So first, we're going to harvest our turnips right here. And second, we're going to be planting in some, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, come up. Kamatsuna, I'm not sure, it's a Japanese plant, it's kind of a cross between a uh, spinach and a turnip, so we'll be planting these, the turnaround rate on these is 40 days from planting to harvest, so I'll plant these today and in 20 days we'll come back and replant, that way we get a continuous harvest of uh of these throughout the next couple of months or so till the weather gets you know just entirely too too warm for these to grow so I'm going to go ahead and harvest these out these turnips out and uh, amend this bed with some fertilizer and then I'll make me some furrows and then I'll get some of these planted in so Stay tuned. Okay, so here's the harvest of turnips that I just removed from okay, here. So here I've got a small mixture of Epsom salt with some fertilizer. This is triple 10 fertilizer that I'm going to fertilize this entire bed with. There's one cup. And I won't need to do this again through the duration of the growing of the uh, cat masuma uh, plant. So I'm going to go ahead and get this mixed in. Just barely on top because <clears throat> this doesn't have to be uh, planted that deep. These seeds are small, uh, maybe a quarter of an inch or less. So I'm going to go ahead and get this bed uh, worked in. Okay guys, so I've got the seed sawn in here, and now I'm going to just come back and kind of crimp the uh, furrows closed, and I'll get these watered in, and uh, yeah, we'll be we'll be done. I'll go ahead and get these brushed over lightly. Doesn't take a whole lot of soil; just basically soil contact is uh, basically what they'll need. And so, now, depending on, depending on how well these do come up, I may need to come back and uh, thin these out, but We'll give them a couple of weeks and see how many of the seeds are viable, how many come up, and we'll thin them out as needed. And uh, I'll keep you guys posted. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. God bless.